Hello, and thank you for purchasing the Ethereum Futures Potty Training Watch. In this video, we will show you how to set up and use the various functions of the device. In order to check the time, press the button on the right-hand side of the device once. To check the remaining battery life, press the button twice. To go to the alarm setting, press the side button three times. To go to the EF mode, which allows you to set the sound or vibration alert, press the button four times. In order to go to the countdown timer setting, long press the side button while the display is not lit. As soon as you see the CD off sign on the display, which stands for countdown timer is disabled, short press the side button to start cycling through the available timer options. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 2 hours, or 3 hours. Once you've selected the desired timer duration, long press the side button to confirm your selection. Now the timer is counting down and will continue to reset itself to the same duration until you switch it off. As soon as the timer counts down to zero, you'll hear a melody or vibration if selected, along with flashing lights. This is designed to remind your little one to go to the potty at a predetermined interval. To switch the timer off, short press the side button once to display the remaining time and then long press the button to return to the countdown selection mode. Cycle through the modes until you see CD off, then long press the button to disable the countdown timer. Your putty training watch has the option to either play a nursery jingle sound or vibrates when the timer finishes counting down. To go to the sound and vibration setting, press the side button four times. The display will read either EF1, which represents a nursery jingle sound and no vibration, or EF2, which represents the vibration alert and no sound. Long press the button again to enter the selection mode. Make your selection by short pressing the button to pick either EF1 or EF2. Long press it again to confirm your selection. To display the time, press the side button once. To start setting the time, long press the side button. First, cycle through either 24 or 12 hour clock setting. Confirm your selection by long pressing the side button. Next, adjust the time by a combination of short and long presses. And finally, long press the button to confirm the time set. We recommend the continuous countdown timer option for potty training your toddler. However, if you wish to use the more traditional alarms, at set times throughout the day, there are 16 alarm slots you can set with your potty training watch. To go to the alarm setting, press the side button three times. Then, long press to enter the setting. The alarm slot A1 will be displayed. Long press again to toggle this slot on or off. If you set it to on, long press the button to set the alarm time. To set alarm slots 2 to 16, follow the same steps. To charge the watch, pull the belt on the bottom end of the watch to show the hidden USB charging plug. Insert the USB plug into USB cable adapter. Then insert the USB cable adapter into any USB port of a laptop or a power bank. When the watch is in charging mode, 
it will display battery percentage along with battery bar rising. Please check if everything is connected properly. Once the watch is fully charged, remove the USB cable adapter and insert the hidden USB plug back into the belt notch. Please ensure the USB plug is properly inserted in the belt notch to protect it from dust and water getting onto the USB connector. The USB charging connector is waterproof, but please make sure to remove any water from it before plugging it into any power source. Your watch is splash resistant and should withstand activities like hand washing. However, please don't put it under water for extended periods of time. Your putty training watch has a proximity sensor on its back, which senses when the watch is being worn. The countdown timer will only produce sound or vibrate when the watch is worn to help preserve battery life. Please keep in mind that the time setting, alarm setting and countdown timer will self-reset to factory defaults every time the battery discharges to 0%. It is recommended that the watch is recharged at around 10% of the remaining battery capacity to ensure that the time, alarm and countdown timer do not need to be reconfigured. Should you have any questions, issues or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us at hello at athenafutures.com. Thank you.